Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about Asset Properties in SQL. SAID is an acronym that stands for Atomicity, Consistency, Isolation and Durability. These properties are essential for ensuring the reliability, consistency and accuracy of transactions in a database system. In this, in this video, we will explore each of these properties in detail and provide real-time examples to illustrate their importance. First look at the atomicity. So A stands for atomicity. This refers to the property that a transaction should be treated as single individual, uni indivi individual unit of work. This means that if any part of the transaction fails, the entire transaction should be rolled back to its original state. For example, consider a bank application that transfers money from one account to the another. If the transaction fails, the amount should be credited back to the original account and the debit transaction should be rolled back. To implement atomicity in SQL, you can use transactions. Transactions allow you to group multiple SQL statements into single transaction and you can use rollback rollback statements to undo the entire transaction if any part of it fails. Next C stands for consistency. Consistency refers to the property that a transaction should always leave the database in a valid state. This means that any constraints such as primary key or foreign key constraints should always be satisfied. For example, consider a database that stores student records. A transaction that attempts to insert a record with duplicate student ID should not be allowed and the transaction should be rolled back. To implement consistency in SQL, you can use constraints to enforce the data integrity. For example, you can use Primary, primary key constraint to ensure that each row in a table has unique identifier and a foreign key constraint to enforce referential integrity between the tables. Next, I stands for isolation. Isolation refers to the property that each transaction should be executed in isolation from other transactions. This means that a transaction should not be able to access data that is being modified by another transaction until that transaction is completed. For example, consider a scenario where two users attempt to withdraw money from same bank account simultaneously. The isolation property ensures that the transactions are executed independently and without any interference. To implement isolation in SQL, you can use logs to control access to data. For example, you can use row level logs to ensure one transaction, one transaction can modify a particular row at a time. The last one, D stands for durability. Durability refers to the property that once a transaction is committed, its effects should be permanent and survive any subsequent failures. This means that even if the system crashes or loses power, the changes made by a committed transaction should still be applied when the system is restarted. For example, if a bank banking application successfully transfers money from one account to another, the transaction should be recorded in a database to ensure that the changes are permanent and survive any subsequent failures. To implement durability in SQL, you can use transaction logs to record all changes made by each transaction. When the system is restarted, it can use the transaction logs to recover any changes that were not yet permanently stored on disk. To conclude, the asset properties are essential for ensuring the 
reliability, consistency, and accuracy of transaction in the database system. These properties provide a robust foundation for database systems, enabling them to handle complex transactions while maintaining the integrity of the data. By understanding the importance of ACID properties and implementing them correctly, organizations can ensure that their database systems are reliable and secure.